Um, it, it's the ship with the with the uh, Tridium City flag on it. Great. I'll be back to drag some unlucky friends of mine over here. <laughs> <laughs> and Thank you. You um, when thinking about this, you do reckon you do like later. think about. It was the one odd ship that was ported at the harbor, and the thing that made this ship different is it had no mast or no sails. Rather, you could tell there was likely a whale underneath the ship that, like, the ship is strapped to the back of, and the ship is made to dive underwater. Oh, scrumply. Whales have to breathe at some point. <laughs> <laughs> the whale can breathe through the ship. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's got one of those snorkels, you know, that go on like the. Instead of a mask, right. that's the snorkel. I'll be a Florodon, like in Billy and Mandy. So. Thank you. I'll throw a stinky note. So there's like a Leoporodon in her plesiosaurus that helps move around the ship. Um. So yeah, you recognize seeing that in the harbor um, park. It was one of the relatively nicer looking ships. Um, and then you're able to go back to the room where you would see all these. Is there anything else? I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I think that's it. From all right. I got 5,000 gold. I'm going to spend that later, maybe, or just save it. Yeah, you now have 5,000 gold, and unbeknownst to anyone. You, you didn't distribute it normally? I haven't the... gotten to the place yet. Yeah, so you guys all meet up in the Champion Inn. Also, mm. I feel so strong today! The day two. Who wants to arm wrestle? A raven just like jumps into the window, flops against it because it's closed. Low persona dune star! Shut up! I'm playing into it. Low persona dune star! No, I, I said I used I used my performance to try and copy speed card exactly. I'm gonna open, uh, <laughs> get to the window, turn into my you know normal form, and be like. <sighs> You would not believe the night I had. <laughs> you would not believe the night we had. No, I probably would. You wouldn't believe the night, would believe the night I had either. What, what did Zepsis do to you? What do you mean Zepsis? Did he throw you out the window? No, I was busy doing the reconnaissance I was talking about. So you were literally the only one not working. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on regenerating look, look, this it awesome bugbear <laughs> body. You, you, you're coming with me to the docks. I got you a key. Oh, you found the bitch? Don't say anything. Come on. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have the schmutz? Yeah, he has the schmutz. Someone said schmutz. It's I'm interested. I think this is a lot less lethal. I think he can live for a bit. <laughs> well, we'll see if he can, she can at least heal him too. He has but a me first. You ring know? of desire or whatever it is on his finger that we all know you want. To they it. said it was the schmutz that was related to being near death. Well, stop dying. <laughs> Okay. Apparently, I've never died because I'm close to death. True, true. So I need to die. Wait! Well, no. never mind! I withdraw that. Speaking of death, number one, there's going to be Finally. a bunch of bugbears looking for you as their new king. <laughs> number two, the, Lock the Lockworths are going to Lanka. They're going to be stopping Carlito and slowing it down, hopefully, with a blockade. So we have a little bit more time, but it's going to be a little bit more stressful Wait, when we get there. I think, I think. Thirdly, I talked to the captain of the lock house so I, I forget his name. He had the ugly skull on his the face. Abyss. Oh, captain Abyss. Abyss. He has a Kraken bomb. He's going to unleash it on the Tridents. Sister, okay, what? <laughs> sister, you have communicated my message of the Bugbear King. Fourth. <laughs> oh, shit. You're still going. He's going to get the tail of the crane, the pearl, and the temple of the Tridents. You know, the thing that could control the entire scene is the reason the Tridents exist, apparently, according to them. Apparently we didn't work as hard as I thought. What the fuck? And <laughs> the only reason I'm even alive is because I had to almost kill somebody, suffocate them, take their disguise, distract people, tell a story about the bugbear to the bugbear guarding it, go past a bunch of mannequins, fax the past a fake card, deal with the pirate king guy, and get them out of the cell without being seen. I am going insane right I now. I just imagine Lil' Dude, they're gonna wanna kill her. Tell me no more shit! The, tell me more of the bugbears! <laughs> tell me more of the bugbears! No, don't I mean, to be. You don't even know about number five yet. I don't, don't care about number fives. I, I heard bugbear and the rest of it was blah 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 blah. Bugbears. Anyways, this could be a bugbear named Gork looking for the long one. Gork? Who is supposed to join the Lockworks. Gork. <laughs> Let's go. Gork. <laughs> So yeah, that are they a default name or an insert name tribe? <laughs> I didn't ask. I was trying to. Oh my god! Oh, number five. Didn't work last night. Number five. Number Let's five. fucking go, Bunny. Can I right. drag him out the window? <laughs> and as we're going out the window, I'm gonna explain <laughs> to her that Drune is just a puppet, and his his actual fucking thing is a it's a dragon. It's a real 
fucking dragon. We're and it has a golden dragon. collar. It has a golden collar. So is it a controlled or does it control him? I believe it controls him. Fuck! And, but it is also, con like, it, the mayor has something to do with it. I just have a feeling. This island sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get this shit on the road and let's All right. go. Oh, Hypothetical. speaking of which, you found the bitch. Uh, what about our gold? What gold? Come on. <laughs> I'll get to that I later. I was with you then. I remember that. I know. I have the gold. Shut up. It's okay. Santa Mandras. Good luck getting it. <laughs> She's just one. It's going to two, be slimy. Three. <laughs> four <laughs> licks every piece. Every <laughs> piece I lick is mine. No. No, is Santa yeah. just going to be like, are they chocolate inside golden wrappers? <laughs> I'll make the chocolate inside golden wrappers. Oh god, no. I'm gonna tell Salamander specifically not to tamper with or do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Salamander. Salamander. Just, like slime tell you what, I'll use a hundred gold to buy you something that you want. Yeah, it's uh, Salamander races. Salamander races. I could probably arrange that. Oh yeah, I remember that fucking that ad we gave the Salamander races. <laughs> Add that to the list of side quests. Right. <laughs> He's in the long list. <laughs> How many salamander side quests do we have? I'm going insane. <laughs> so, our Zeps is going to come with you guys to the Yeah, we're taking yes. it just in All case. Right. Mushroom, first. What would you like to do on day two? Mushroom's just sitting here like... I guess I'll stay. <laughs> Four hours in and I'm not dead yet. And there's been no battles yet for me. Like, what a I'm fucking happy. what a fucking session. <sighs> Plot, lore, expedition, other villains. Um So, I'll start with three of you then what you think what you wanna do. So you guys head to the docks where you see this uh, mastless ship. And you would see there is a bunch of tridents already on it. Uh, as well as currently you would uh, tell them likely the uh, mermaid that you rescued is in the below deck, and the Tridents uh, welcome you aboard. They're like, ah, welcome back. Uh, did we catch your name? It was Zepsis. Say Zepsis. My name? Zepsis. Yes, your Zepsis. name. Hmm. Say Zepsis. Does I mean, you're a hero after all, for what you've told us. I don't want my name spread around, believe me. So say Zepsis. Though I can tell you about another soul, <laughs> who may be just as important. <laughs> And then you would see a cloaked figure walk out from behind you, and oh. be like, "This right here is my great friend Loba Zona Doonstar." I want to try to stab him. Loba Zona Doonstar, eat fucking dick. Poor. You, you would see him grab your arm and like twirl you around. Hot. <laughs> Dances with you. Loba Zona Doonstar. He spit in his face. <laughs> And this right here is Bunny B. Cottontail. Can I pull and back his toy? I haven't met you fully yet. I remember I almost hit you with that steamroller. You're the wonderful <laughs> future king of the goblins, Zepsis. Zepsis default, default name. name. Yeah. What is this, Thrawn? Is this some sort of act is to talk to me? Yes. Get out. <laughs> you need to up your game. There's a guy with a Kraken bomb here. What do you have? You're gonna sit in your castle and control the weather all day, or you're gonna come and fight. Wait, Kraken Bomb, what are you talking about? I'm. Fuck you! Ooh. <laughs> Plus six with the whip. <laughs> so, you lash across him. Wait, who. Who were. I'm fighting Strahd. <laughs> oh, cloak, Strahd? This cloaked figure um, is really pale. He has blonde hair, and you can see that underneath this. A uh, dark green cloak is a orange and black outfit and green shoes. Little do we know, Strahd's just been following us around as fucking. He speed literally cart. has been. No, not as that, but uh. I'm still so curious on how you left, but I guess you don't want to talk to me. <laughs> and he stops away and then seems to like vanish as he's like. Wait, 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 wait. Before he you. goes, I'm gonna go use my ring and say, Your shoes are green! Because you said the shoes are red. Um, you see him look over, just like that ring you have. What's that roll? Oh, fuck. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 Wait, 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 goes, Zep, I was just about to get rid of this fucking AIDS, and you gotta go and fuck some shit up. Hey, I, I just want to make a shoe. Whenever you color. die, make sure you give me that. I really want that. Anyway, toodles. And it seems to vanish. 
He's talking about my long arms. Bro, what was someone's gonna punch the shit master? Whatever's around her, she's just like angry. <laughs> He's fucking with me. He never had the nerve to ever talk to me. He regarded me as some old city were-raven. Don't talk to the so, were-ravens. Fuck them over. So, and so the three of you are uh, ushered down to the lower deck where you would see a almost like the bottom area of this deck is like a large swimming pool, but with also just like yeah. some various boxes and things. And so you're already about like sits in like almost waist-high water if you go fully down there. And then you would see that mermaid pop up out of the water, uh, looking really happy. It's just like, and you know she is also, uh, one thing you do notice is that now she has a, um, a hat that looks like Salamandris. Um, and it's like, ah, hello. Yo, where'd you get that hat? Oh, I got it from my new best friend Salamandris. Yo, I want to be best friends with Salamandris too. Get into the lamp. I'm sure you won't regret it. Once, one, I, I don't want to bring my... I don't want to... Do you want me getting you my... my, my well, why don't you tell them about the problem? Shoves him forward. <laughs> anyway, besides ha not you having want, a cool hat problem, I like, have no. a more serious problem. I'm sure my good friend over here's explained a little bit. I've got a nightmare curse. And you would see her um, the sort of one. swim up closer and place a... It's like she holds out a hand to take your hand. Uh, and if you put your hand in there... Would yeah. You, so you put your hand in and she... Her eyes begin to actually glow this sea blue color. And you... This, like, glow almost spreads to you. And as she... So <laughs> Don't kill her. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna kill her with your curse. It's check now, radiation. Oh, I, radiation. I, please, I gotta I hope I don't kill her. That would be fucked. You gave her No! <laughs> you gave her fucking cancer! So she looks at this and is like, this is a very powerful curse, but even if it's broken, it's still the creature that will be after you. Um Is it a bugbear? It would take me a few weeks Rawr. of treatment in order to remove this of a a daily uh, ritual. Damn. But she's, she stopped charging it. It could be removed after about three weeks of constant um, mm. yeah. magical How much? tinkering with my uh, divine connections. How much? How much? My life was saved by you guys for free. No charge. See, the, the thing is, though, is like, I, for one, your people, I don't know if you guys have three weeks. That's racist. And also, like, I've got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought this was like, I take like two pills and I'm like, just well, what it. do you think the AIDS part meant? You don't just get better. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I get... Did, so do I... Is it, like, three weeks of constant, like, treatment? Or, like, do I get, like, I have to come in Well, it'll only time? just be an hour. Um, oh, okay, An cool. hour every day of just um, slowly fighting it back. And, of course, as it goes, the curse will uh, gradually lose its connection and power. And all that you have to be left to deal with is um, the monster that's after you. Which is currently insurance. located in... And you would see, like, she's focusing... It's like, currently, it appears there is, it is located on the, in the town of Fandelver, walking around in a very similar form to you, actually. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> now we have to go all the way back to Fandelver. But the moment the curse begins, I begin to work on breaking this curse connection you have with this creature, it will likely begin making its way towards you. So that's the good news. Oh. And bad news. Wait, well, that you're in... where the whale was? Yes. Uh -huh. So who knows, I'm the, in. who knows what the fuck it's been doing? I mean, me from there. what I'm I can in. tell, this creature is likely sapping the life force out of your soul to create a copy of you to live among people and, uh, well, slowly feast but the moment I break the connection and it's forced to come here, um, 
Oh, you're dropping a lot on me. I'm in, brother. Less on the soul realm, I'm like, more physical. I'm in, brother. Because if it doesn't, if it have the connection for a long enough time, it will, um, well, die. So if I can survive long enough before until, so it doesn't make the connection back, it'll eventually just die. Yeah. Brother, we're gonna have to kill this thing. What about the little schmutz? Do I need to here? throw you in a well? That's too. a problem with you too. Yeah, we we got oops all cursed. Oops, they are cursed. Correction. I am. Wait. Uh, I guess I am cursed. <laughs> and she holds out her hand for you to um, sort of examine what you have. Go on. So she begins oh, doing shit. her same sort of divination thing, and as she looks at this, she it seems like this um is out of my ability to do stuff about. You can cure what the fuck is wrong with you? She can cure nightmare aids, but what you have is weight. <laughs> Go on. I mean, what you have is not an immediate danger, but if the divine message I have of what's on your hand? A ring? Gloves? Fingers? 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 Looks up. <laughs> fingers. And she's Bugbear like, fingers? Could I see it? What can bugbear can fingers? No, the ring. You can look at it. So when she looks at the ring, she's like, where did you get that? A pawn shop? We shouldn't have bought shit from the <laughs> pawn shop. <laughs> I found it in a pawn shop in Thumbdelver. And he's... No, we, we bought it here. We still, we're still paying on it. That is a... Uh, that is the ring of Talit's champion. Go on. It's... It's said to be a item which Talith created to have a hero among the mortal world to spread the word of Talith. I'm a hero and blah blah blah. Talith forged that. I don't know if something that's what something, something so he's literally wearing bear. something made hero, by Hero blah the blah god blah, of blah, darkness blah. sealed away in the shadow crucible Just be thing. careful who you're surrounded with because look at Evil people or people of dark desires will be drawn towards it the most. Oh, do, are these people of dark desires? I mean... I shouldn't have asked that question. No, 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 no. Get rid of the wing. Get rid of the wing now. We Get must rid of it. Some Get rid of the They're wing. Get rid of the deep cool. spot of the sea cool. so no one will ever find Did it. Did you say wing or ring? No, we need to take it to a... You have a lisp. We need to take no. it to a volcano. You don't understand who's coming. There's a volcano on this Just, island. Oh. Oh. There's a volcano? Listen... There is. Wait, wait. The wait. Lord of all vampires, you know, the wait. person I'm trying to hunt and kill who is after me too because I escaped the, the, his little yeah, prison. Yeah. Drama. Vampire drama. There's the lock here. Lock with pirates. If he lock sees the. Lock with pirates. Oh. So. oh, we're fucked. Come on, you said three okay. things. That's two. And now that you warmed the ring, I can tell that you it is now attuned to your soul. You will not be able to. Uh, remove it so easily and if it is taken from you you will suffer greatly and be controlled beyond your will to want to get it back and you will die if you don't have it for a certain amount of time Lovely Zone is going to draw Wait, her away. but on the right side it does make you have uh, powerful strength just and you'll be, have the power of a champion what I heard you have two things going on with you that I don't want I to heard, What I with. heard is blah, 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 <laughs> powerful strength, blah, 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 something curse. Thank God I'm not the most fucked up in this group again. So, but wait, how does this affect my goblin kinghood? Well, you should be fine, maybe. Oh, okay. All right, wait, wait. Just be really careful. No, shh, shh. Right. Full stop. She said nothing. Yeah, sure, Zephsis. Um, I think he's in denial, or he's already under the effects of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, three Me weeks mom. of treatment. Mm -hmm. Would you be traveling mm -hmm. with us then? Is that what you're saying? You you want to come with us, mermaid? I mean, I could travel with until uh, your curse is cured. I can't do anything about yours, though. You'll have to find another means for that. Well, you can come with me as long as you want. I stay away from him. <laughs> I'm telling him. you now. 
I'd stay away from him. And you see the uh, tridents? Get rid of my all like, me, me, we can me, even me, offer me, me. a uh, upgrade to your ship to allow it to travel to and the I'll, city of Tridene. Tell you people what. You guys, Tridens, Tridene, Lockworth is after you, but I know where he's going next. If we can help stop him there when he's on his way to stop Kalito and your brother getting the Goblin King crown, which I convinced him to go after, we may have a chance of slowing things down and perhaps stopping the Kraken bomb before it happens, helping the people. Come with us, but make sure that you let everyone in Tridene know what is coming. Don't let the pirates Did know. Did you tell us about the Kraken bomb? Yes, uh, briefly. Uh, and then he's going to kill it and be even more legendary than he is. And rule the high seas. And land. He's going to... He wants to go against the Dragon Templar, I think. But if that ends up unleashing the Goblin King, just say. What do you mean unleashing the Goblin King? <laughs> Jeez, Polly. <laughs> There's truffles all over the floor now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crazy Why do cats like this? Yeah, I could um, sail with your crew for a bit. Uh, well, our main ship goes back to uh, that. I don't know. We'll have a. Well, I'll, I'll have a Tridene ship come back, c come meet your ship at one point for me to um, hop on once your curse is cured. Sweet. Wait. Uh, I. Sorry, I really can't do anything about what's going on with you. You're gonna need to find someone a little bit more adept with magic than me. Yours is on a level of um. That dragon Wait, might be able I to mean, help you. I can't really do anything that can say God's power or the power of death. You're fucked. Oh man. no 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 no! What I heard was, <laughs> I am above death. I'm going to whip you if you don't shut up. I am above death, and I, nothing I, I, can hurt can, me. You can take my hammock. It's far away from him. You could sleep with salamanders if you want. Yeah. No, I usually sleep in this. No, we have uh, barrels that I can sleep in. Okay. What about swimming pool? Is there room for two? I can, I can, no. keep, I can keep your barrel next next to my place. <laughs> you have a barrel? Yeah. You said next to your barrel. Bonnie, don't spread your AIDS. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a changed kidding. bunny. I'm just worried about her well-being because I'm, I'm more worried about... Us sleeping next to this thing, uh, and you guys. I'm not gonna sleep in a wet barrel. I'm not worried about him himself. I'm worried about what will sleep come in after a wet him. Barrel. We're going to have nightmare creature, you know, looking like you, coming after us, who could pose as you as any second while you're away, distract us, and possibly kill Look us behind your eyes. back to keep us out of your way. His eyes will be different. How do you know that? Because Noga told me that my eyes changed whenever thing, so I would assume it has black eyes. Or oh, it has your eyes. Well, you have the black eyes. <laughs> Anyways, we have that, and now we're going to have powerful people, including <laughs> the vampire I've been trying to... Well, you did that. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not my You're... fault I got out. Now he thinks I'm like his personal play thing while I'm away. Oh, he just wants me back what? desperately into his stupid world of sadness, even though it's kind of comfy what? there if it so... weren't for Strahd. <sighs> God damn it, does he show up at like up, birthday up, parties up, and shit? Up, up. I keep saying that, I need to stop Just call him Strudel. That's probably close enough. Strud. He... I'm going to call him Funny Vampire Man. Maybe we'll have to deflate his ego a little bit. But what is that the... Why are you saying that instead of the other word? Zepsis, please. No, I just want to see him, I'll say Strud. <laughs> I'm always gonna just stare us off like grumpily, crosses her arms. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This session, bro. <laughs> this session. Well, we still have the tournament to deal with next. At this I point, mean, the tournament will probably be tomorrow. At this point, why don't we just steal the fucking Noga's family thing and say fuck the goddamn tournament because this tournament seems like a lot to deal okay. with. Proposal, you said everyone, like, the champion is controlled by a dragon, and the outcome is controlled by a dragon and stuff like that? Well, the... And the lady mayor, The maybe? dragon's definitely in control of D Droom, whatever the fuck his name is, and I believe that the dragon is controlled by the mayor, or the, the mayor's got some shit to do with it, that's all I know. 
What if it's just that the dragon joined in because they saw a great reward to this contest? The dragon is like... mainly worried about having its treasure. It wants the treasure, but it wants a new friend. But apparently, they don't want a new champion. They want some whoever they is. I assume it's the government, because that's usually what people. But say. strategy wise, if we throw gold coins into the sea, yeah. <laughs> Long arms, watch them. It's so dumbass. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it just happened. Um, you if, if we, <laughs> it's the ring. If we throw gold coins into the ocean or whatever the arena is, um, it'll drown. Drink. That one will go after the coins that takes them out of the action. I have an If idea. they don't have the saddles that. Like prevent you from the dragon the diving, then they're out of the competition. I mean, they're, they're champions, though. So. Lobo's yeah, like, no I have an idea, guys. Coins. Guys, True. hear me out. If the winner of the champion becomes a new friend, we have no winners. Then. What I'm saying is, we all get everyone in on this, and we're all going to be disqualified, including Droog. Yeah, but like they right. said in the rules before, if everyone's disqualified, the champion would by default take... And they stuck with Droog. But we have a way to make the dragon angry who wants a new friend. So we need more rules. So we need a way to lure this dragon out too. In no, the game. we need more rules. What? what? No, dragon... we need more rules so we know how to avoid how to get disqualified. Uh, I mean, the dragon kind of gave us her word. We don't want to win we this. Win. We just I want know. the money. No, we, we don't no, even want we, the money but at this you can't point. We just want no Get the money armor. if you don't win. But if we are, if we win, you can't have your pudding if you don't eat your meat. Will, How do you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Let me phrase this in a way your little tiny goblin brain can understand. Uh, I know you. Uh, Look at him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not worth my time. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm saying, if we can out the dragon in the game, if we can break any suit, all the little laws and rules around this game, and we can truly make it so there's no winner, they'll have no choice but to accept the fact that a dragon is partially manipulating who's, the who's game. They? Who's they? Who's they? I don't know, the mayor? What do you think I am, a smart? I, I just read books. No, who's they? Who's the... Who's the person that is ruling on the outcome of this? The dragon and possibly the mayor. Yeah. What? <laughs> what I'm saying is, we get all the contestants together. We come to an agreement or a pact. It doesn't matter what the contestants say. Who is the person or thing that rules on the outcome of the tournament. Well, maybe I don't know that. I and know you don't so know as that. So you guys continue to bicker on the Titan ship, no, what would you like to be doing? <laughs> Half the session they're just I arguing. <laughs> that she does this for a reason. It's content. <laughs> it's free content. Free real estate. I guess I'll talk to Shroom Town. Uh, so you go to Shroom Town, you would see Yay and Nay, um, you would see Go, and Go is just like, No Uven, it is a pleasant to see you. It's Rels. Oh, No Rels, it is pleasant to see you. Yeah. Have you three devised any way to get out, to get out there and do good? Here's our plan. We are, you see, because we do not need to breathe, we are going to dive under other Funkasaurs and then surprise them, coming right up. And that is where Yay and Nay, as well as Gonk, are going to doing their best to just take the flags and go back under the water and then appear right up. Did they We've say done... Gonk? Uh, not Gonk, but what's his name? Oh, Gork? <coughs> they have a name. Shroom Town. Go Yay Nonk. 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 Not a gro yeah. Gork. Yeah, and then we're going to... You see, we've done some scouting to figure out each team's tactics already. And... You see, in saying Gnome Posse, we found out that they will be using crazy swings. Likely... 
swinging gnomes and throwing them potentially onto other rafts to just divide and conquer and just cause as much chaos as possible. We don't, we haven't been able to figure out your team's strategy, but as long as either of our teams win, we get the relic for you, so that's fine. Uh, there's one other team that just came up recently. We haven't been able to figure too much about them. It's this team called Insurance. And all of them, uh, well, if my theory is correct, they might be dragon cultist. Hmm. And I'm not quite sure what they're doing in here. I just know that they... I don't know if they're set out on winning or not. They oh, just no. say that they need to... You see, I was sneaking around. I had this ability to just become a spread of fungus on walls, so I slipped into their room and just was on their ceiling all night. <laughs> and I was listening in, and they were saying that they were trying to make sure that the champion wins. So, if I had to guess, insurance is quite literally insurance for the champion. More devious plans from Drew might That appreciate. might be the thing. Meanwhile, There's the champion team. I found out the champions, well, they have boarding rafts, and of course, the fastest the Focusaur of all, the Alpha Focusaur, so <laughs> they're going to likely do a speedy attack like strategy. The, the the insurance company. Mm. Snail is woefully unprepared, so Team Gwez has nothing to worry about. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, they have no attachments other than a raft, so they're likely just going to sail around aimlessly until somebody gets the easy pickings. And then the Red Tides, they seem to have a cannon. I assume that one of them is going to drive and load, while the other one fires the cannon. Although I did see them messing around a little bit with the ammunition, so hmm. that's something we might have to look out for. Although I do sense a odd amount of strangeness in this tournament. The, um, some of the members of the champion's team offered to bribe us to uh, willingly lose. Yes, they told me that too, and I can tell you why. Because that champion Fonkasaur isn't a Fonkasaur. Of course it's a Fonkasaur. No, it's not. Don't correct me. <laughs> oh, yes, King. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You see, I saw it myself. It's a dragon that can turn into a Fonkasaur specifically. That's oddly specific of a power. <laughs> Why does everyone say that? Because <laughs> it is very oddly specific of a power. I'm <laughs> yes, and it gave me this rock with barnacles on it. And he looks at this rock with barnacles. So it's like, why does it say help underneath some of these barnacles? Help. What? <laughs> help? And he, and he holds it back out to you, and you would see some carvings in Draconic. Huh. He's like, this says help in Draconic. Ah, is there anything else on it? Shit! No. It's just a rock of fire, and then it's just helping. No, no, no! I don't think you understand. I'll explain later. Yes, that's another thing. Them, the captain, they're even odder than anything else in this tournament. You know, the captain literally had his belt taken off, replaced, and then taken off again, and he didn't even know. Yeah, Drew seems oddly incapable for someone who's managed to be. I looked into some of the previous matches, and the first one, it seems that his team won, except he was the last one on his Fonkasaur. Um, I believe it was Sigmund, actually, he was riding. Huh. And they won the tournament, uh, and he was the last one standing. And it was after that the previous champion seemed to have died overnight. Huh. And then the next few, and then it, it's just been odd recently. It, it seems like all the previous tournaments had some 
level of odd sabotage to ensure that now Jerum stated. And what are examples of this sabotage? Well, there's been cases of poison, cases of people not able to show up to matches, cases of odd rulings by the judges, <gasps> other teams Bo helping out here. the. It uh, was part of it. Other teams helping out the. Um, there, there always is this odd team that seems to be at every match called Insurance, which, mm. as we see, that always they never win. They just seem to always conveniently be there for the champion to collect a lot of flags at one time. Let's see if the coffee's kicking in, as you can tell. You sure have done your research, but who was the champion before Drew? Uh, it was someone named, um, it was a woman named Mercy. Mercy. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Mercy McHugh. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> you give me a headache. Uh, I've done my fair share of investigation too. I talked to the water dragon, as you know. Oh, uh, what did you find out? Well, not much, because like Droom, it's also beneath. It likes gold. Something's odd about this corn of this. <laughs> well, I can't put my shroom on it. We've established yeah. that. <laughs> but when asked about the head honcho of this place, they just don't say anything. So I think we know where to go. Perhaps talking to Lady Serpent Shell might be a good idea. Yeah, but I don't know if we have enough time to schedule an appointment. Well, you don't need to. She lives at the uh, Torment building. You can probably walk up to her sort of area and just sort of, you know, ask, what's up? Give your hand raised. Uh, so, um, off the record, the, the shrooms and stuff that I'm here. So, these are the <laughs> no good things and all that? No, those are red tide. Alright, where's That's the no the good? Where's the shrooms? Tail. So, we're over here. We have two ships. If it comes down to you and us, go on. <laughs> if th th there can only be one, so shrooms and us, we're the last two left. Who wins? I mean, in that case, I'm because listening. they are willing, we could have them win because we get the stuff regardless. Because they said that. How do we get stuff regardless? Because if they're they win? literally in this for me. <laughs> they're. They're his subjects, basically. They're his yeah. royal guards. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Are they? Yes. Are they? <laughs> are they? <laughs> well, it would actually be incredible. You have to go to three levels of are they? All the, all the uh, contestants are always open to speak with sure. uh, Lady Serpent Shell about the rules or clarifications because she always comes up with new t wacky tournament ideas every every few years. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably make my way there. Unless you have anything else you want to say, or have found out. Um, your mushroom cap looks really nice. Why, thank you. I've been glowing recently, not growing. And if you ever need anything, <laughs> just let us know. I will. I don't know if I need anything yet, but maybe tomorrow. And uh, you would be able to make your way to um, uh, Serpent Shell's office if you would like to. You can take the others with you if you'd like, but or you can do it alone. I need to take a rest. All right, so you're resting like after. Yeah, after, after the argument with the bugbear, I'm resting. Bunny's still high on meth, so he's a. <laughs> yeah, you get your first treatment. The Jesse, Jesse, we need to cook. Um, the Tridents <laughs> make their way to your guys' ship no, to install an area for no, a to chill for a couple weeks. <laughs> Which means Zepsis is still around. Yeah, I won't be. I'm, I'm down for an hour because she's got to do a fucking thing for an hour, but I'm good after that. 
Your face is like a fucking magical shoulder massage yeah. for an hour. Like, what the fuck? I wonder if it's got a happy ending. Sorry, old bunny. Old bunny shining through, sorry. So if Lobozona was here, you'd be whipped. <laughs> <laughs> what? If Lobozona was here, you'd be whipped. So, uh, Zeph says, oh, you return in time at the end while, um, he's getting his thing. Lobozona goes back to the end mainly to sleep. Uh, if you would like to, uh, you would see, um, Mushroom currently hanging around with the other mushrooms. It just looks like an entire fungal infection in the corner. Zephsis, just who I wanted to see. Uh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go talk to the head of this place about some peculiar rules and stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes, Tyrius. I'm about to make my way to the seashell office. Because there's a lot of things that need clarifying here. Yeah. Now, I just need to know... Are you aware of anything that's happened? Anything we found? Like, list five things we <laughs> talked about today. <laughs> what do you mean, list... I, I didn't think there was going to be a fucking quiz. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, I need you to not... So, explained it to you. I need you to not... They're... Um, controlled by something else. Like, just no... You're in cahoots with us. Yes. Fucking crazy. Yes. Uh, just kill them off. That's happened so many times when I've been here. Uh... Did they show up uh, unexpectedly to the help the the these guys? Yes. And snail. What else? Right, so <laughs> I already said one, two, three, four, five. I already said no. five hey, things. The snails are the underdogs. So here's here's the things that I'm worried about. So if this is the layout of the battle, yeah. So phase one. Sh shrooms <laughs> are close enough to them. They're gonna you get attacked probably first. Go to your yeah. appointment soon. Yeah, that's, that's they don't have all day. I wasn't talking about the battle strategies. Oh, I was seeing if you knew about like the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you guys told me about the dragon. That's that. This is the dragon. Yeah. The, the dragon that can. All right. So it can strangely become a monster. Yes. Now, remember... Is that an oddly specific this, this This girl is not your brother. I didn't think I was going to get quizzed. Fuck. <laughs> this girl isn't your brother. We just need to get that out of the way now. What girl's not my brother? I'll go upstairs. The, the Miss Seashell. Oh, the one running oh, the tournament. Dear. I never said she was my brother. Well, you say it to literally everyone. I have to... Uh, that's it. She would be my sister. <laughs> So, all right. So, just be careful. here's what I'm thinking. So, <laughs> are you wait? Are you asking me a strategy question? Or are you no, quizzing me if no, I've been paying I'm attention? Just, we're going to the seashell office. I just need to make sure you're ready. Yes, <laughs> because this is a dragon enemy. This is your buddies. These are fucking coyotes. These are wild cards. Uh, no. <laughs> um, we will, we will go over whatever. the more of the specifics when the match is about to start. Right, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, we're going to the appointment. Here's what I'm thinking. No, that's, here's that's, what I'm thinking. Please. Fuck. We don't have enough time to plan. Brother! This. We'll plan this later. We have to go to Miss. Shit, by the time you get done planning whatever <laughs> I thought you were asking me to plan it like no, okay I didn't even see you that. said you were quizzing me so I the said... two of you eventually after about 10 more minutes of this is having a fucking <laughs> you're quizzing me <laughs> I said eventually I asked you. if you were caught up yes and I was catching up you make your way down the halls of this end which sort of this end is connected to the coliseum directly and you walk through and you find a office area um, where you would see the label on the, the sort of plaque on the door it says Celia Serpent Shell. Celia Serpent. And um, when when knocking on the door, you'd, you'd, you'd be lit in. You would actually do two people in this uh, room. One is a human um, who is 
He, he has, sort of has, like, shaved hair except a really long ponytail. Um, and this, this man uh, introduces himself as a gar gar. First name Agar, last name Gar. Um, Hi, Agar Gar. And he, um, you find out pretty quickly that he is sort of the sea monster inspector. He makes sure nothing's wrong with the sea monsters, makes sure they're in good health. Um, and then, sitting behind a large desk, you would see a uh, trident woman who looks similar to the lady at Phantasma, only a little bit older. And she has a very, more of a, like, flamboyant, like, excessive pirate outfit. Not a real pirate outfit, but, like, that kind of, like, you know, showman pirate outfit. She has a, like, really funny-looking small pirate hat on her head. And she's like, Howdy, Fox! Welcome to my office! Do you have a question about the tournament? I am so excited for the this is one of my best ideas so far. Battle Royale, capture the flag. Yes, I have many questions. Alright. But you can start with... I can clarify his... on any of the rules because I wrote them in the middle of the night when I thought of them. Go on. You... Who was the tournament champion before... <laughs> Drew. Drew? Drew? Oh, you're, you must be referring to Lady Mercy Baku. Gesundheit. <laughs> yes, Mercy Baku. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lady Mercy uh. Baku. Alright, so. Go on, tell me about her. Oh, she was a wonderful champion. She reigned for two years in a row. I think she was a pirate from some coastal pirate group that mainly aided in protecting islands and whatnot. She was so awesome. Her her finesse was incredible, and she was such a commanding presence of of a woman. But unfortunately, someone must have been salty about losing, I guess, and then she just died. Salt, salty poisoned. about losing. This was before the tournament. No, she died after her after her loss. It was a sad day. And who was tournament champion before Lady Mercy BQ? <laughs> this is just DM torture. Oh, no, 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 I'm going somewhere with this. Are you? <laughs> yes. The, the champion before her was um uh trusting kind. Go on. He was a uh, kind and trusting man. Jesus Christ. How many years? You've reached Dream Bedrock. He he was only a one year winner. A <laughs> one year winner. Uh, but after his win, or after his loss to Mercy Baku, um, trusting, unfortunately, uh, seemed to have suffered an accident as he sailed away. The ship seemed to explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an accident, huh? Okay. Listen, I've been in a boat. They don't just fucking dead. God damn it! What? Epstein oh. didn't. Epstein didn't commit suicide. He did. Just what and the fuck just, are these cover-ups? And you're saying Mercy but Q was poisoned? Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's yeah. everyone's okay with that. That they were just poison. No one was okay with it. She was an amazing, honestly. I, would, I wish I still had her over Drew. She was so cool and, and wonderful. But what was the killing <laughs> move that made Wait. Lady Bursa McHugh... She was poison sepsis. No, no, no. Oh. Not the killing move. The killing move that made her a winner. What made her a winner? She... Well, the first tournament was um, extreme bow and arrow Foncasaur riding. Where everyone had to shoot arrows and whoever got the best score. That's the first year she won. And then after that, I had a, um incredible improv perf serpent performance um, of who can do the best serpent show. And that is where Drew won. So Drew that won not that. in a battle? Drew won in like, an improv? Up, I tried to change up the, 
the tournament every year, so that way the Islanders are maximally entertained. Well, for this year, it sounds like a battle royale. I, oh, yeah. yeah, I thought that would be incredible. You see, I did something similar a, a few years ago where I had a cornucopia in the center, and it was everyone had to have their own sea monster. Oh so I go for the stop. cornucopia. Stop. I stop. Stop. <laughs> I, think I, do. I think we're getting out of hand with these Hunger questions. <laughs> Um, the bunker game. What is your? What are you trying to get? Um, I'm trying to see if there's a link between the people that became the champions to um, what we're trying to do. Um, so if there's like some secret thing or whatever, but there seems like there's no link between <laughs> the memes that are uh, associated with winning. No. <laughs> So no, you have go any on. Yeah, about the rules? yeah, I do. Oh, I, have, I have a history questions. museum. And I have. Wings. Let me ask questions. All right. You didn't raise your hand. Yes, I just did. You're too tall. You didn't see it. <laughs> My arms are longer. What is it? Um. <laughs> what's I, I want to know if there is any knowledge or any information that can get someone banned from these events. Banned from these events? Well, obviously. Harming the Funkasaurs, they don't deserve harm. Okay, but that's not what I asked. I said information that someone would know. Uh. None that I'm too aware of. And so you were allowed to ask you any question. Is there anything you want to help clarify tournament rules, help. And you, you know, won't be, take any action against any question. Ask what the loophole Why would I? Ask what the loopholes are. You can't are. just ask what the loopholes are. You can ask what the loophole. You can ask anything. Because I just can't help but wonder why Dream is so afraid of his own sea sea serpent. I don't know why he is either. I mean, the champion Falcosaur is so amazing. Oh really? Yeah. You must know everything about it. A ton. It's an alpha Falcosaur. What color is it? It's a brilliant sheen of blue. Mm -hmm. So you know it's blue. Yeah. Do you know everything about the Funkasaur? Everything about it? every. Oh, I got to wrote. I've ridden on it a few times with um yeah. one of the other champions. Like wrote because I do all the announcements for everything, of course. And it's such a beautiful Funkasaur. How long have you known this Funkasaur? Well, ever since I've taken uh, over the Serpent Shell business of running the tournament. Who ran it before you? My mom. <laughs> and before her. My mom's mom. <laughs> what were their names and details? <laughs> I'm going somewhere with that. I see. <laughs> and there's no other abilities that this thing has. Well, it rams particularly harder than the other Fungosaurus, and it's way faster. Uh-huh, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't lie about anything it does, right? I wouldn't lie about a single thing about it. I mean, you've seen, like, the papers. If you go down to the museum, you can see all the, I, all the, like, sketches. You're right. I have seen that. weakness, I'm sorry. You're right, I have seen that. But you know what else I've seen? What'd you see? I've seen it myself. <gasps> oh, for real? Isn't it beautiful? It's a dragon. It's a wonderful Funkasaur. <laughs> that is not a Funkasaur. No, it is a Funkasaur. No, it's a dragon. I know it's a Funkasaur. <laughs> you are dumb. Is there anything gold on her, too? Roll me an investigation. Oh my oh, god. You think I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to roll it with the knowledge from past life thing. It's not enough. I'll give you advantage because you know what the gold things look like. 12. So, looking around her, trying to find something similar, it's hard to see because what she's wearing. But you see the, a golden necklace, but the chains of it don't look like a normal chains of a golden necklace. They're rather thicker. They look like almost shrunken down chains. So it's a small chain. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. So it's not a chain, it's a smaller chain. Your large chains are smaller than normal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Do you need coffee? You're telling, <laughs> no, not, you're telling me a dragon in a Foncasaur competition makes sense. Yeah, a Foncasaur in a Foncasaur <laughs> competition makes sense. Zepsis, I found someone more delusional than you. <laughs> <laughs> and did you have something to say, uh, Zepsis, I believe? Yeah, so... What is the weak spot of the dragon, the dragon or of the <laughs> druids uh, Thonkosaurus? What is the weak spot of the Thonkosaurus of James Thonkosaurus? Um, Don't say music. I mean, it is a it is a mighty Thonkosaur. Um, honestly, it's it's weakness is just being skilled, out maneuvering it, out planning. It's not impossible to beat it, of course. Just I always make the most fair competition ideas I can. Just roll better. <laughs> no, not roll better. I already got that earlier. Thank you. Roll better. <laughs> yeah, Funny. For episode three. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's totally fair. <laughs> I mean, it, it is a little bit of an advantage, but that's the point of the champion is supposed to be this indomitable force that you have to find a way to outmaneuver and beat or outthink and beat or do know. whatever competition what my do. family comes up with. But you're the only one making up the rules as far as I can tell. That is my job. Then it I make up the competition and then use my family's funding to slam down whatever idea I have. Is there anyone else other than your sister that still runs this place? Uh, it's me, a gargar over here. Um, and then I have, a, of course, I have an entire staff and team that helps out. Yes. Are you happy with what you do? <laughs> I love my job so much. This is the it's, best ever. I didn't ask if you loved your job. I said, are you happy with what you do? Of course. Everyone is so entertained. What does a are you? look like at the moment? Is he even... No, I, <laughs> not literally. Like, is he still in the room? Uh, yeah, Gargar's just standing by the door. He's currently, like, looking over notes, and you can see the book that he's reading. Um, that he's, like, holding. It says, like, Vonkasaur Biology. And he just kind of looks like he's just tuning out. He's just, like, doing his own thing. Does he also have something going on him? No. Not that you can tell. Oh, so he's just retarded. <laughs> this island is fucked. Yes. Is the Iron Giant protecting that shop? Oh, I okay. hired him. Oh. Are do they are they okay with what they do protecting what you do? Ask him. No, I'm asking she does you. Have a point. I, I'm a very busy person. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to spend with my um, sister. Unfortunately, you're you're you have plenty of time Let's asking see. our questions. I understand you're busy, but you're also very fashionable. So where did you get that necklace? Oh, this necklace? Yeah. Um, given to you by someone. And you see her pause as she like looks. Oh, now she down pauses. As like she seems to try thinking for a second. I got it from. Um. It must have been. It must have been, uh, I think I got it from one of the competitors, I think. <gasps> you got it from... Yeah! yeah. Oh, no, it's definitely Mercy BQ who got it for me. <laughs> definitely. Gesundheit. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> That's what... I know. Gesundheit means! I know, I'm just thinking of something specific. What? What are you thinking of? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah. You I'm having down? a brain stroke because of this conversation. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, is that all you guys have to uh, ask me about? No clarification on We're the not rules, here, or? so... I know, we're just yeah, gonna... Yeah, tell us... Like, we'll right, so... Wh- <sighs> Alright, rules. Wait. Rules for the Thunkasaurus game. Wait. 
Tell us about the circle. rules if you fall off your thunkasaur. You're in the water and you'll have to climb a board. You'll definitely be more vulnerable to um, someone taking your flat. But you're fine if you're in the water unless you drown. In that case, you're not fine. Okay, so we have to think here. How many Let's red see. cards do you get? Uh, it depends on how bad you do or what you're doing. I mean, the, the referees will probably be... As long as you don't like harm the Falkasaurs, that's that's the main thing. We don't, the Falkasaurs are a lovely part of this habitat, and they're just such wonderful creatures. And you know, I don't want, I don't want to see them like get hurt. But you have. Is the goal to take a Falkasaur scarf yes. to your own thing? Yes. These are normal. Do rules. you get a point for taking your own Thonkasaurus? Th no. Why oh not? Oh my god. Please. Please. If you take off your own Thonkasaurus scarf, you are admitting defeat. I'm oh having god. But Aaron you're Aaron putting it though. back in your own thing. <laughs> no, because then you are no. disqualifying yourself no. by admitting it, defeat. We have to think. The, the dragon was clearly able to write help at some point. A Thonkasaurus could write help? That's incredible! I didn't know they can communicate! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if it, what if a Thunkasaur rider is in the water? They're they get the water. pulled off their saddle. How much more time do you have? Um, I mean, I have time for maybe two more questions. Make them count. Might have been very pointed. Yours have been absolutely amazing and totally don't go in circles. I have a different idea. Uh oh. I'm going to write a note for her. Then I'm going to hand it to her and say, look at this later and mail it to our place. It says, do I, you like me check one box? Yes or no? <laughs> or I have to ask my parents. Alright. maybe if the dragon can write help, maybe it's just only active when no one's looking at them. I didn't know Falcosaurus can write. How would they do that? They have flippers. Does it use its mouth? No. Maybe. It uses its claws it's a dragon. Falcosaurus don't have claws. <laughs> <laughs> and so how you, do you know it's not? So you write that note and um, that'll be for next session. Uh, any last question from you? Who? Wait. Who is Stay the line! I, I'm gonna ask. Who is it we're talking to again? Um, <laughs> Celia Serpent Shell. Do you know what my ring does? And if so, tell me. Oh, if you have a magical ring, you should talk to my um my little sister about that. She's incredibly good at magic. Fucking that's, circle we, we have wasted enough of her time. Let's get out of here. No, that's like one. That was only one question. No, because I gave her the paper. That's the second question. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys make it back to your room. It is nighttime now. You don't need to sleep this night. No. Um, either. Hey, sure. Lobo's on is awake. The final day. I can go with you to do something. And, and a quick thing for the final day before the tournament. Is there anything you would like to do? Uh, I'll start with Lobo's own. I want to convene all the contestants except for Drew. I want everyone in the same room, and I want everyone in honest terms. I want to have so maybe a bargain, maybe a pact between it, but I want everyone in the same place. You so, find that nobody is willing to go to the room with you? Not our room, the main room. Uh, everyone typically already is there, most of the time. Can I stand up on a table? Yeah, you stand up a table on the main room. Is Drew in there? Everyone's there. All right, now everyone's I'm currently eating dinner. Friends, I've got to think of how to, I've got to think of how to say this. But what I'm going to say is this: No one should win this contest this year. No one should. Oh, I'm gonna win. You know what? Droom can compete, but all of us. That wasn't Droom. That was a um, that was a random gnome. No, Shut up, gnome. And then you see Glenn like, I need money. I have to win. Bring me out. No you don't justice. want to win this contest. They you don't compete, dumbass. You should. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say this. I've got the choice. Either we find out who we're going to sacrifice to win this, 
and have the rewards and the wonderful life until you two are poisoned or killed like the other contestants in the past who have won, or you are going to shut up and listen to what I have to say. And the weird thing is, you notice that there's only about four people of the many people that's room actually looking at you. Who are they? Um, two of them are probably insane gnome fuzzy. One of them is itch. And then you see, uh, the snail is looking at you, but like a glare. I'm gonna win! Oh, yes you are. I'm sure of it. I've, mm, I believe I it. need money for my business. I'm bankrupt. Anyways, as I was saying, if you believe in me, if you want to help me try to maybe make this not a horrible curse that will curse you for the rest of your life until you die, with no strings attached, see me and Dude, the you're other. you're crazy, man. This is just a contest. I'm gonna win some money. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe you're going to die when a <coughs> Funkasaur, Alpha Funkasaur, comes for your life. I'm a snail, man. This place is rigged. It's all rigged. Then don't pl don't fucking be in the competition. I need I need less people to fight anyway. I'm already at a disadvantage. Oh, well, you're gonna die. I will not. Oh no 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 no! I'm fighting. Don't get me wrong. I have a better idea than not competing. You fool. <laughs> I'm saying we band together. No. I'm saying we throw the contest, but we need to make sure there is no winner. Yeah, I'm not doing that, man. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw a rock at him like a mug from a table. It hits really easily. The snail is a massive target. They have the AC of four. Ow! AC. Oh my god, these guys are fucked. Oh my god, they're easy. <laughs> I think you should look to other means to fuel your business. Have you thought of pirating? I'm a snail, man. I could be a pirate. <laughs> Can't be me. Yep, and then you could, you could totally be a champion of a battle royale where you're going to have to attack, run, dance, and balance on a Funkasaur for- I have a plan. No, I'm sure of it. What is it, slime? I'm not gonna tell you. I no. bet you would yes, tell magic. me. I'm the underdog. You know what? You think you're so cool because you're the underdog, and you think you're so cool because you won't tell me your plan, but if you don't tell me your plan, then you won't win. And my plan is to beat your ass, woman. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the last thing that I was doing... How about this? this? Awful. Kill me right now. No, man, that's that's like stupid. I'm okay. gonna do this non violently and win my own way. The snail way. Drowning? <laughs> How about being eaten by like a cat or something? <laughs> and you would find like as hard as you try, a lot of the competitors don't seem to really listen. The mushrooms are like sort of like, well, we have to try winning for a uh, Noga. Oh, I don't blame you guys. What about Itch? Uh, Itch, meanwhile, is just like, Man, I was paid, so I'm gonna, whether I win or not. You're paid? I get money. Oh, yeah. The room. Wait, I thought that deal was off. I get money regardless, so. How? That's a problem for me. How do you get money regardless? Smart coyote moves. Hey, I'm a fox. I'm not far off from coyote. <laughs> Yes, but you're about an A-10 of a fox. A what? An A-10. What does that mean? A-10 to these nuts. <laughs> it begins to spamble. <laughs> I rest my case. I hope it only gets down. <laughs> um, Zepsis, what would you like to spend the final day doing? Fucking coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think I'm gonna just try and concentrate and figure out what the oops, ring can do for me, trying to attenuate with it. Alright, so you hang out with the ring in a room for a long time, just like really trying to figure it out. Funny, final day. And you know you have to sleep tonight. What would you like to do? I don't really know what, what, what we should do, <laughs> what, what I think I should do. I've already done most of what I set out to do. Um, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day partying and having fun with people I consider friends. All right, I don't know who those would be, but everybody but Zepsis. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Zepsis is a danger right now. Yeah, right? exactly. Like, like you have the Ring of Power from the Lord of Rings, basically. <laughs> 
And so you spend the day like hanging around, chilling with, with people and friends. The, like you're hanging around with maybe the tridents and the mermaids, the shrooms, attempting to hang out with Itch and Scratch, but they seem to be really hard to hang out with. Especially because you like walked up where Scratch was alone, and Scratch walked. We're like, hello, I'm. And then walked around awkwardly because there was no one to continue the sentence because there was somewhere else. Um, and Mushroom, what would you like to spend your last, your uh, final day for the tournament doing? Oh, I like how you say the final day. What do you want to spend your final day doing? Well, let's see. I want to get with Nasser on that, on Wham Wham, and see how well he controls it. Natural twenty. He's a fucking pro. Oh, we got this. You see him, like, he hops on the back of Wham Wham, it starts to flip up his head, he just, like, grabs the back of it and says, like, stop that. And then starts, like, sailing it perfectly. Hey, oh, yeah. I have a question. Can I talk with this here? In a later? Uh, possibly. And so you and uh, this there are able to get a lot of training in, riding on the back of it. Zepsis is able to come while he's examining his ring, so that way he can try out the the crazy swing and get like a little accustomed to flying around as you guys sail really quickly as his air is, has this like ace level driving. Just don't fall off. He's pulling baby driver moves on a Fonkasaur somehow. <laughs> Just like drifting around and spinning. <laughs> and so yeah, you spend the day training and getting ready. I'll give you some form of bonus um, for the tournament that you can use. Um, and for the last thing, you want to talk to Ms. Air? So it's sort of evening time. I can do this uh, next session. Next session? All yeah, right. I want to ask him about uh, the pirate person. Well, in that case. Stop eating the coyote tail, it's not yours. With that, you guys take a rest before the main tournament. And that is where we end the session.